Human wildlife conflict is a phenomena or scenario that happens when humans and wildlife interact. The conflict comes when that interaction brings negative impact to human lives or their resources. It also happens when uh, that interaction brings negative impact to wildlife or their habitats. There's many activities that we do as human beings um, that we probably don't consider as a conflict because you know, wildlife don't have a voice, so we don't hear their cries. But when they do something that we consider negative to us, we then call it a conflict. Areas where we take our livestock for grazing might be close to national parks, and maybe a pride of lions tends to wander into the same area where these cattle are taken for heading, and they interact, and obviously, the result is probably a cow being preyed upon. Lions and hyenas prey upon livestock for various reasons. There won't be enough prey for them to feed on within the wilderness, so they tend to come close to homesteads. Most of these cattle or goats have never seen a lion, have never seen a hyena, so they don't tend to run away or flee when a lion shows up. These lions might learn that there's something easy for us to catch, in this direction. In Koma Zamza is in Ning, I figure up on you fifteen in Kong. But why would it every year? A year would you wait two? A year would you wait two? A year would you wait two? So I think I can answer as in a one. Yes, as in which one of it is. As Sanning, just as a figure. So the boy who invented the lighting system is called uh, Richard Turere. He's a Kenyan boy. Um, I think he was nine years old when he invented the system. His father's cows were being attacked a lot at night. So he then put a few flashlights around the crow, which would be flashing. After he did that, no, uh, no lions were coming. He then designed a, a system whereby there was a solar panel charging a battery and the battery uh, connected to the lights. But within the circuit, he then put a you know, indicator flasher unit. So that flashing apparently simulate someone patrolling the perimeter. So it scared the lions away. So that's how we came to have this night guard system, which we are currently running as a trial. The light itself is quite small, maybe this size. It has a solar panel on top and a one double A size battery inside. So the solar panel charges that battery. And then in front of it, it has a light bulb, which flashes when the sun goes down. It can sense if it's dark or if it's light. If it gets dark, it would switch itself on. If the sun rises, it turns itself off. The purpose of the light system is for us to be able to mitigate the conflicts between humans and animals. So the lights work as a way of protecting the livestock within the crawl. So they shine, and once they shine, they then deter the animals away. I asked my cool over whoever I like. Lama visit a lama lion water as an aquanus won't get. Wabba, they sing a foot as an can, I kayakuna, which would deserve any light. That's it, it's bad. In pretty the malady say, Tabel are cool. We record the number of attacks and we also take note of the kind of predator and we also take note of the frequency, the seasons and the time. So I think the project is a very interesting, um, you know, project, or rather the lighting system is a very interesting invention. You have to be able to balance 
what's the human wants and also balance the survival of the animal you are trying to protect. If our results point out to it being very effective in uh, mitigating this problem of predators attacking people's cows at night, I would think uh, it's something that most people should adopt. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the results of this uh, trial. It's something that if it's well supported, you know, will bring out some interesting results.